Hey guys, it's me Ren, and in today's tablet review, we got a very new release by Vic themselves. I'll be reviewing the new Vic VK1060 Pro Pen tablet. I haven't been using my laptop in about like five to six months to draw because I've been using my iPad more, so I'm pretty rusty to say the least. I'm excited to introduce to you this product and show you my first impressions, and stay tuned to hear my final verdicts. Most of you who are subscribed to this channel know that most of my reviews are from Vake and yes, I also use their products. Not only is it affordable, but the product itself gets the job done. I'm not really picky about tablets as long as its performance is in great condition. Now let's open and see what's inside. This tablet is retailing for 2,929 pesos, around $50 in USD. Once you open the box, the first thing we see here is the smudge glove so your hand won't stick to the tablet. Next is the protective plastic screen which honestly is very new to me and might come in handy for some of you who want to protect the surface of your tablet. And of course, we have the tablet inside the protective plastic. Underneath, we'll find the other accessories that came with the tablet. Here we have the pen inside its little pouch. The pen has two buttons that you can calibrate and adjust later. We got a lovely bag or pouch for our tablet to store in and it's quite soft to the touch. And here you'll get your own cleaning cloth for your tablet, so many extra nibs, and also two connecting adapters if you wish to use the tablet on your phone. The C-Type USB cable to connect your tablet to any device with and this box comes with free stickers. Of course, the greeting card with links to the driver and the instruction manual. Lastly, we have a pen holder with more nibs to store inside. Now let's check out the tablet itself. What I like about this design is that we have two dial wheels, one on the bottom and one at the top, which you can calibrate on the driver. There are about 8 express keys for you to use as shortcuts when working. The tablet has a very matte surface as if the texture is paper-like. The tablet does have a lot of space for you to work with which is great and it's not that heavy to carry as it's very thin and light. I'm just gonna show you guys the stickers it came with which are really cute by the way. So the tablet is a C-type port and as you can see the port is at the left side of the tablet. And here is just me trying to put the tablet inside the pouch. It's again very soft. The product VK1060 Pro also support tilt function. Tilt support is used for specific brushes. Depending on how you tilt the pen, the shape, and the angle of the strokes still change. It isn't important to have in the sense that it's a useful tool for drawings, but it is great for specific details and varying line weight. It gives you a more natural feel during the process. Pressure sensitivity usually takes care of this, but it is a nice feature to have. I'm just gonna set it up and hook it up to my computer now and test its performance. Let's talk about the driver. So apparently this tablet has a separate driver, unlike the usual one driver that can detect any of the Vake products easily. So if you have the old Vake driver, please do uninstall it first and install the driver for the Vake VK1060 Pro. As always, the driver can be found at the official Vake website. Once you got the driver, it's time to customize the pen pressure and calibrate the express keys. You can pause the video to see what my usual shortcuts I use and on the dial wheel. So for today's subject to be is none other than Levi Ackerman. I've been bombarded with comments before asking about me drawing Levi and you know, today's the day my boys. And one of the folks over at Vake commissioned me to paint him actually and as he is their favorite character in the series and they just recently binged Attack on Titan and just so happens that the manga finished and it was so beautiful. As always, I'm using Medibank Paint Pro and for those who are asking, yes, it's a free program. While the speed paint is going on, I can talk about the tablet's overall performance and my own thoughts about it. So like I mentioned before, I'm pretty rusty so I'm basically adjusting myself to the program. Not to mention I kept using the flat brush and forgot that the oil brush existed. No wonder the brush strokes fell off when I started painting. As for its performance, everything was smooth sailing. Pen pressure sensitivity works just as well. What I love about this tablet is the dial wheel. Using the dial wheel was so convenient and easier to use when working. Working, multitasking was never this easier. So now what do I think about this tablet and would I recommend it? And the answer to that question is 
Yes, even though I was pretty rusty because I haven't been using my laptop often ever since I got my iPad, it didn't give me any problems whatsoever. It's a very affordable tablet and like I mentioned before, you can use it on your phones. As always, it's battery free. Another great product from Vape themselves. So if you wish to purchase this product, you can order one at Lazada, which all links are in the description down below. Thanks so much again to Vake for inviting me to review one of their newest tablets and for commissioning me to draw out Levi Ackerman. So that is all for this review and I'm sorry if my uploads aren't frequent enough. I do have videos coming up for posting, especially anime related stuff. Anyways, wear your masks and catch ya on the next video. Bye!